I am holding a very special book by a most amazing, one of the most amazing people that I've ever met in this life, Varvara Ivanova. Um, she, she is known in Russia and um, to some extent um, in other countries. This book is actually published in San Francisco in English. However, it's out of print, unfortunately. Um, she is known for her extraordinary, powerful ability to heal people through her biofeedback energy, a subject that needs a lot more research and studies. However, this book is written in the form of collection of studies with a lot of citations, very scientific approach, I would say. Um, today, I wanted to briefly describe how I came to experience her very special gift. I was a young student in Moscow, and during Perestroika, most exciting time in the history of uh, Soviet Union at the time, a lot of things were happening for the first time. And likely for the first time, it was possible to have a large public event for a person like Barbara Ivanova who shared with us so much of her knowledge. Um, I came to a large factory auditorium that had five levels. It was packed with close to 5,000 people and I was able to sit only at the very top. People were asking questions for hours, at least five hours, and she was so generous with her time. There was so much yearning to, to learn about this prohibited subject. Um, I would not be able to, to explain everything, however, um, someone asked Barbara Ivanova why is it possible that she specifically had this very powerful gift of healing. Her answer was quite unusual, like a lot of her answers surprised me and probably most of the audience. She said, most remarkably, that this gift is actually not unique. And in fact, she said that all people have this gift, but to, to an extent, and it can be developed. In fact, later on, I learned that she 
taught other people uh, very generously in addition to healing herself. And I learned it from this book much later when I was already in this country. Um, however, um, she stated very seriously that one of the reasons um, some people, only very few people, have access to the full power of, uh, of this ability, uh, but others just, just have it in the undeveloped form. Comparing this to singing ability, she compared it to music, apparently. I remember it so vividly. Uh, she said, just like everyone can sing, Everyone has this ability to, to access our power for healing. However, some of us sing in our living rooms and in, in the showers, and some of us sing on stages <laughs> to the pleasure and uh, uh, benefit of, of large audiences. Um, she said that the main reason why the humankind does not have full access to this ability is because of uh, the low ethical development. And uh, that is one of the most important subjects of uh, my, um, my address today. Um, through music, intuitively, I have been trying to bring out um, the best in our hearts and souls, both in my students, and I hope my music resonated and inspired uh, the best that our human potential is created for. Um, in the very beginning of her lecture, amazing Varvara Ivanova told us that she is going to show us her aura and um, I have to admit that out of close to 5,000 people, after midnight, she told those hardcore, <laughs> dedicated fans of, of her and her subject to come down on the first floor. And I was, of course, among those uh, who wouldn't wish to leave prior to the event ending. Um, I joined 200 people at the time, about 200 people left. It was very late. Um, she told us together next to the stage, sit down and um, Keep our eyes open, but relax and focus on something we would want to heal in our own bodies. And she told us to think about the image of Golden Lotus. And then um, something that is absolutely impossible to describe verbally started happening. I began seeing golden shining around her body and it was very vivid and clearly visible, however magical and hard to explain in the words. Uh, intense and gentle 
golden light amber color um, I can compare it to some images on frescoes the saints have shining shilohs surrounding their heads so that's approximately what her aura looked like however it was all around her body not just her head but another most amazing thing that I would never forget in my life was golden lotus the vision most vivid and clear in my mind however <laughs> not in in any other dimension the clear vision was a moving vision of opening golden lotus and again I don't know how to describe this and uh, that is the reason I'm speaking about the subject next to the piano um, since not long ago when I had to pray for health of um, my friend and my own health and I had to search for solutions outside of medical help um, I had discovered that just like the words of Han, Hans Christian Andersen say that music speaks when the words fail, um, I think only music can describe that vision that I was so privileged to see. So very often when I perform um, quiet musical pieces, uh, meditative and um, gentle of nature, I convey that most amazing beyond words impression that uh, I would never forget. And I do hope that uh, my music brings my listeners, listeners of my music, closer to the state that would allow all of us, our entire humankind, to access our highest potential that Marvana Ivanova was um, explaining to us. Um, that is the most recent discovery of the music and music's power to transform human mind that I came to, um, to experience intuitively. And I do hope that um, there would be um, many more um, attempts to, to find more in-depth exploration and understanding of these lesser known aspects of human consciousness and spirituality.